Okay, so this is the Yin Line run through on the My Maths homework for this week on uh, sectors and arcs of a circle. So, key thing at the top of the screen there, hopefully you can see, and um, we've got the sector to find the area of a sector formula, and then we've got the arc length formula. Now, on these first questions, it's finding the arc length finding the radius which means they give me the arc length and I'm going to work it backwards. This one is finding the perimeter so again I need the arc length and then I've got the two radii to add to it and again I've got the radius on this one but this one is finding the area of the sector. So we've got three using the bottom formula here and we've got one using the top. So let's see what we can do. I'm just going to drag this over to the side a little and I'm going to be using this formula at the top. So, first thing, arc length. I've got the angle, okay, which is theta, divided by 360 times pi times d diameter. Okay, now thinking about that, what do I know about this? I've got the radius on each one of these the radius here. I need to find the radius on this one so I don't know what that is and on this one I've got the radius as well. So I haven't got the diameter and remember that the diameter is twice the radius. So I could change the diameter here to 2 times the radius. Okay, times pi and then that's going to be 360 and again whatever the angle is. So let's do the first one and we're just going to substitute in the values that we know. We know that the angle is 21 so 21 divided by 360 times pi times 2 times and the radius is 7. So I'm just going to put that into your calculator So, okay. Now, if you've got a scientific calculator, you could use uh, the pi button, which is uh, 3.14159 and a load of the digits. Pi is, uh, just goes on and on and on. We're going to use, in this case, 3.14 as the value of pi. Okay. So, if you ever need to do this without a calculator, always use 3.14, but state that you are going to use that value for pi. That it is going to be 3.14 is what you are saying pi equals. Okay, so in this case, we're going to do 21 divided by 360. That gives me 0 0.058 times that by 3.14 and then times that by 2 times it by 7 and that's going to give me 2.5643 recurring okay now I need the um, answers to these all to one decimal place Okay, so we're going to do it to one decimal place. The 6 is going to round the 5 up 1, so that's going to round that one up by 1. So that's going to be 2.6 centimetres. So the first one here, 2.6 centimetres. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rub this section out, because hopefully what you'll see is that all of the formula stays exactly the same. And all I'm going to do is just replace the radius and the angle. So on this one, I've got the radius of the sector. I need to find the radius, so I don't know what this one is. Okay, But I do know that the arc length equals 12. I know that the angle is 25, 
So if I can try and work out what the whole of that bit there is, I'm going to multiply the whole of that to the radius, and I know my answer is going to be 12. Okay. So let's try and work this out then. So I've got 25 divided by 360 times by 3.14 times by 2 equals. That's going to give me 0 0.436111. So I'm just going to go one step further. I'm just going to rewrite that as 0 0.436111 times the radius equals 12. So if you had that, if I wanted to get rid of the value here and just leave my question mark, just leave the radius, I'm going to do the opposite. It's telling me I'm going to times it, so I'm going to do the opposite and I'm going to divide it. So all I end up with this side is 12 divided by 0.436111 so 12 divided by 0 0.436111 equals <coughs> so my answer to this one the radius is going to be 27.5 to one decimal place Okay. We're going to do the same thing again. Again, we're using the same formula for this one here. So we've got the angle 299 divided by 360 times by pi times by 2 times by the radius which is 29 and that's going to give me my arc. Now remember the arc is just this bit around here. Okay, so we're going to work that one out. So we've got 299 divided by 360 times 3.14 times 2 times 29 equals so my arc length is 151.260778 okay now remember that is just the arc so I need to have this bit and this bit added to the arc to give me the whole perimeter so I'm going to add 29 add 29 so my answer will be plus 29 plus 29 equals 209.26 and a load of oddments remember it's to one decimal place so what effect is the 6 going to have it's going to round the 2 up so my answer to the third question is going to be 209.3 to one decimal place. Okay, the last question. I'm going to get rid of all of this now because we're now on to the area. Now, using the area, I'm going to use a different formula. Okay, I'm going to use this formula up here, which is the area equals whatever the angle is divide by 360 times by pi times by radius squared okay so we're told the angle 119 we're told the radius of 22 and we're using the value of 3.14 for the value of pi so the area is going to equal 119 divide by 360 times by pi times by 22 
squared. Now, when working this one out, use the rules of big mass. Um, so I'm going to do 22 squared for a start. 22 squared gives me 484. Put the value of pi in there. 3.14 and then 119 divided by 360. It is another line of working, but again, you've already got a mark for doing the 22 squared. So, doing that 119 divided by 360 times by 3.14 times by 484 equals 502. Point three six five one one one, and to one decimal place, the six is going to round the three up to four, so that's going to be five hundred and two point four. Hopefully, that makes sense for the first part.